Environment Variables in Linux. In this demo, we'll be covering how to work with environment variables specifically in Linux. And the distribution of Linux that I'll be using today is going to be Ubuntu. And we'll be able to find the variable location of the environment variables, how they're created, how you can list them, how you can assign to them, and how you can remove them. So I'm going to go over to my Ubuntu machine and let's go ahead and see if we can create some environment variables. So here I am in my Ubuntu desktop machine here. What you want to do is you want to go up here into the search menu and you want to look up for the terminal. And here's the terminal. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up this program. Now I'm going to go ahead and just make it a little bit bigger. See this terminal pretty good here. And we want to go ahead and start off by creating a variable and the variable we're going to create is going to be name and I'm going to go ahead and just assign it my name Rick Hernandez and the way we would do this is there's a couple ways we can do this um, the easiest way to do it is just to do it with an echo command and if you don't know what an echo command is it's just pretty much saying hey print this value and echo it back and we're going to echo we use the echo command and then we're going to append it to the bash rc file and that bash rc file is the one that is used to look up the environment variables so if we do a less on the bash rc file you'll see that there's a bunch of uh, bunch of bash scripts here that are with different aliases bunch of different scripts blah 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 right so we don't have to really mess around with this bash rc file we don't have to edit it or anything like that. We just have to append to it our, our, our new value for the variable that we want to create. So the easy way to do this, you can do an echo command and then we're going to go ahead and append this to the bash rc file. And what we want to do is we want to do export the name of the variable. Again, by convention, we typically use uppercase and I'm going to go ahead and name and I'm going to say my name, Rick Hernandez. And this is going to go ahead and append it to that file. So there again, nothing really happened. Now we need to let the terminal know about these changes. So we do a source that bash RC. Now the terminal is aware of the changes that we have made. So we can do simply something like echo dollar sign name. Here's a little tip here. Uh, the way that Linux knows that this is a variable is by that dollar, uh, that dollar symbol that is used within the variable dot name. So if we do echo dot name, we get back Rick Hernandez, but if we did something like echo name, we would get back name because we're just not referring to that variable. So that's that's a quick, nice little tip there with variables, how to echo them out. If you want to list all the variables that are available to you, you can use the print NV command and this will print out all the variables that are available to your div to your current environment. So as you can see here, there's a bunch of different names here. Um, and the one we are looking for specifically, we want to find the one that we just created, which is name. Let's see if we can find it here. Name, it's name right here, name Rick Hernandez. And again, this is that variable name that we created and we assigned the value Rick Hernandez. Anytime during uh, your terminal session, you can do something like set name to something else. For example, you can say it to Becky. And if we do echo dollar sign name, we should have gotten Becky. In, in, in Unix, you do export name is equal to Becky. And now if we do echo name, we should get back Becky. And if we open up a new terminal here, let me go file, open terminal. And we have a new terminal here and we do something like echo dollar sign name we get back rick hernandez and the reason why we get back rick hernandez here is because this variable does have a scope it does have a value and that scope changes between which of the sessions you're in for example here if we go back over here and we do echo name we still get becky but the reason why we're getting becky is because within this scope the value name does refer to becky but within this scope, the value refers to Rick Hernandez, which is that value that we originally have set up in that file um, that we had up here, which is this file here, bash RC file. And we can prove to ourselves that this is actually there by doing a less 
and then bash RC and then going all the way to the bottom of the file and as you can see here at the very bottom we have export name Rick Hernandez. So that's that's all there is to uh, creating them, listing them, and displaying them. So now the last part here with the environment variables is we want to go ahead and just remove this environment variable. We no longer need it. And there's a couple ways of doing this. The, the, the easiest way to do it is just to pull up your favorite text editor and make the change to the file. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, VI here, and I'm just going to edit this file here. I'm going to go to the bottom, delete that, and save those changes. So I went ahead and deleted that line. Now we need to go ahead and just let the terminal know about these changes here with the source command. And now the terminal is aware of these changes. We can go back into uh, a new terminal window here. So I'm going to go up here, file, open terminal. And I'm going to say echo dollar sign name. And we get back an empty an empty result. The reason why we're getting this empty result is because that value, that variable with the value Rick Hernandez is no longer there. So that's it. That's all there is to environment variables. They can become a more of a uh, advanced topic as you move throughout your career, but it's very important that you understand uh, how to work with them, what they are, and how they're relevant to you as, as a programmer.